welcome you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew your wrap dress what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your wrap dress we have our shoulder measurements bust waist hip and our gown length don't forget to join us on facebook td designs on instagram TG designs and also visit our website. We have amazing fashion illustration on our website. All the details are going to be in the description box below. So now let's go ahead and calculate our measurements. Our shoulder measurements is 14. 14 divided by 2, we have 7. We have 7. Our bus is 38. 38 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 11.5. Our waist is 32. 32 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 10 inches. Our hip is 14. 40 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 12 inches. Our gown length is 38. So 38 plus 2 inches for our sewing allowance, we have 40 inches. So these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your wrap dress. If you have any questions in the course of this tutorial, please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on in the comment section. So the next thing we are going to do now for our wrap dress is to mark our basic measurements, okay? And I'm starting from the back block first. So I have shoulder to arm or nine and a half, shoulder to bust 10 inches. Shoulder to bust 10 inches, bust to waist 8 inches, waist to hip, waist to upper hip 6 inches, lower hip 8 inches, and we have our gown length. So I'm going to go ahead now and connect these lines together. The thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your dart measurement, okay? Now, we are going to go ahead and mark our dart measurement. So, I have 4 inches for my dart. I will go ahead and mark 4 inches for my dart. 4 inches for my dart. I will connect the lines together. So this is what we are going to have. On the waistline now, go ahead and mark half inch on both sides. On your waistline, mark half inch on both sides. Go ahead and connect it together. This is what you are the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your basic line, okay? Go ahead and mark your basic line. Our shoulder measurement is 7 inches. Go ahead and mark 7 inches. Our bust is 11.5. Our waist is 10 inches. Our hip is 12 inches. So, now for your gown length now, you have 12 inches for your gown length. You go ahead and deduct it from 1 inch to 2 inches. It depends on how pencil you want it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and deduct 1 and half. So, go ahead now and connect the lines together. Now the next thing you are going to do now is to connect your bust line to your shoulder line. And I'm going to make use of this arm or curve which comes in our pattern set and pattern masters are available at our store once you are done with that the next thing you have to do now is to connect your connect your bust line to your shoulder measurement so once you are done with that just go ahead now and mark my neckline i'll go ahead and mark my neckline so i'm making use of three inches for my neckline and for the depth, I'm making use of one inch. So I want a square neckline. While for my shoulder slope, I'll go ahead and mark half inch. And then I'll connect the lines together. So this is basically what 
we are going to have for the back block after cutting it out this is what we are going to have for the back block now the next thing we are going to do now is to cut out the front block where we have our wrap okay and i'm going to show you guys how to achieve that we'll go ahead and mark four or five inches okay four or five inches now i'm going to make use of four inches i'll mark four inches so mark four inches now you go ahead now and connect the lines together we've gone ahead now. that you will go ahead now and mark your dart measurement go ahead now and mark your dart measurement from this point okay from your four inches you mark your dart which is four inches I'll go ahead now and mark my dart. Once I'm done, I'll go ahead and connect this line together. So this is our what? This is our dart line. On the waistline, go ahead and mark half inch on both sides. Go ahead and mark half inch on both sides and then you connect the lines together. Connect the lines together. This is what we are going to have. to take our shoulder measurement. So our shoulder measurement is seven inches. Our bust measurement is eleven point five. Our waist measurement. You can see that I'm starting the measurement from this point. Okay. Now our waist measurement is ten. Our hip measurement is twelve inches. Now for the back block, we deducted one and a half inches. So you go ahead and also do the same for the front block. So we go ahead now and connect the lines together, making use of my pattern master. And pattern masters are available at our store. Now, the next thing we are going to do now is to connect our bust line to our shoulder line, making use of our arm o curve. Now, this is basically what we have. So, the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and get our wrap effect. But before then, go ahead and indicate where you have your neckline so for the back block for the wideness of the back block we took three inches so we are going to make use of that three inches also so just indicate where you have your neckline the four inches we left for our wrap effect what you are going to do is determine how deep you want your neckline to be and most times for wrap dresses your neckline is usually deep okay you can't have like three inches or four um inches because most times neckline for wrap is usually like a deep form of v so i'm just going to go ahead and come up with about two inches from my bust line i'll just come up with about two inches so i'm just going to come up with about two inches from my bust i'll basically come up with about two inches from the bust line so that we can cover up the bust area a little now what you are going to do now is you are going to go ahead and connect your neckline to your neckline the depth of your neckline now for this that line now at your gown length at your gown length now go ahead and mark four inches at this point because you want it to have a curve okay i want the lower part of my wrap dress to have a curve so this is what we will have now what we are going to do now is connect your neckline to the depth of your neckline and then you will go ahead and connect it to your gown length the four inches you have for your gown length which is just like your dart so we'll go ahead now and connect this this way and we'll connect this this way so let's go ahead now and do that 
we're going ahead now to connect this so you can take this upwards and if you want it to connect to this point it's fine but for me somewhere around my waist area is actually fine okay so that i can have this bust area tying up properly and the sleeves can just come towards the lower part towards the lower part so what we just did here was that the four inches we have here you go ahead and connect it and then you connect your neckline to this point once you are done with that now our front block is ready so we'll go ahead now and cut this out and after cutting this out i'll show you guys what it looks like and don't forget that on your arm o on your arm o go ahead and mark your shoulder slope Go ahead and mark your shoulder slope on your arm o. So this is what our front block looks like. If you have any question, please drop it in the comment section. And then I'll go ahead and cut this out. Start cutting it out. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and transfer it to our fabric. So the next thing we are going to do now is to transfer it to our fabric. I'm making use of this African print. I've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two. After folding my fabric into two, I'll go ahead now and place my pattern this way. I'll go ahead and place my pattern and then I'll cut this out. After cutting it out, this is what we have. So by the time we go ahead now and open this up, you're going to have your wrap and your slits. At the lower side so you can see the slit effect and you can also see your wrap at the upper side right so this is for the front block so we'll go ahead now and set this aside so for the back block now for the back block all you have to do is to fold your fabric into two place your pattern on it and then you go ahead and cut it out so once you are done you are going to have like a single piece for the back block so for the sewing part now it's actually very easy to sew all you have to do is to go ahead and aim the neckline for the back block and for the front block also you also go ahead and aim the neckline after aiming the neckline for the front block and the back block go ahead now to aim it all the way down once you are done with that, the next thing you have to do now is to join your shoulders together. And you can see that our wrap dress is almost ready, guys. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and use my waist measurements, bust measurements, and hip measurements and couple this up and stitch the sides. Once you are done with that, the next thing you are going to do now is... So guys, for the belt now, I'm going to make use of 4 inches for the wideness of the belt. So you can make yours 5, 3, it depends on you. And for the length, I have about 40 inches. So what I'm going to do now is, you go ahead now and fold your belt this way. Go ahead now and fold your belt. So this is what you are going to have by the time you are done folding your belt attach one belt to this part and then the other belt to this part so you just attach it to these two sides so this is what you are going to have so once i'm so guys this is what we have you can see our wrap effect the belt at the lower side we have our cuffed shape which is also in form of a slit so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any question in the course of this video please put down in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on so you can go ahead and fix in any kind of sleeve or you can aim it to give you like a sleeveless gown it all depends on how you want to rock your wrap gown so i'll see you guys in my next video bye